You know, when it rains, it pours. Um, I couldn't think of a thing to do for a video for... I mean, obviously there was that month of downtime. Trust me, things were happening. Um, and then I was just sitting here and kind of feeling out of it, you know, ups and downs, and uh, couldn't, you know, it was like, I have so much interesting stuff to me, but I, I couldn't think of anything that I wanted to make. Um, and then uh, just out of the blue, <laughs> I was on eBay, as you do, um, because that's how you lose all of your hard-earned cash. And uh, got more VAC stuff. So unfortunately this one um, I already put in there. So I'll take it out later. I'm just going to shoot some video so I get something started. But uh, in here, there are two boards right now um, that you can barely see. And those are actually a, uh, oh boy, is it VCB02? Um, I think is the name. Anyway, it's video hardware that I believe was originally intended for Microvax 2s-ish. Um, or, you know, whatever the, I don't know if they were called Microvaxes, because uh, you'd usually get the the Microvax, at least with these later ones, you'd get the Microvax and the Vax Station configuration. And the Vax Station is basically the Microvax with graphics hardware in it. Because, um, of course, mine, there's no graphics hardware. I've been doing everything over the network and the console port. So, there's a, a fun project. When I saw it come up online, it was an okay price. I haggled with the guy a little bit, and uh, um, I agreed with him. He'd, he'd drop the price a bit if I bought a couple of the other things he had on sale. And, uh, oh man, to everyone who really likes this kind of hardware, come on, focus, baby. Um, I, I apologize for having these stored terribly like this, but I, I don't have any room. Look at this garbage. Uh, anyway, try and try and cut this short really quick and do some more video. But uh, I'll cover these on their own in a separate video because I have small project thoughts for these. But this is just more memory. I don't know. In fact, people will be able to tell me off the top of uh, their head probably. This is an 8 meg board. Again, I think for a Microvax 2. I think this guy was parting on a Microvax 2. Um, and so, you know, it has the same flyover connector for the address stuff for the 32-bit uh, side of things that the Qbus can't support as the board I have in there, because I have a 16 meg board in my Microvax 3800 right now. So I'm going to see, you know, if I shove that in and plug the flyover cable in, if that will give me uh, 24 megs. Um, I don't know if it works like that. Vax people will roll their eyes or maybe not. Um, but that's, that's a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, I guess there was another card, wasn't there? Um, also, that one is a 8-line, I believe, uh, serial MUX. Um, which is just, you know, I think it's just two UARTs with uh, muxing on them, I guess. But uh, if I make connectors for those, I should be able to connect up to eight terminals to this thing, which there's really no point to do, but I could, you know, Z-term over here, uh, Pro-term probably over there, fucking um, <laughs> uh, hyper-terminal on the Windows boxes, and, you know, just log in a bunch of times on serial uh, terminals to that machine, because I love serial terminals, obviously. Anyway, so I'll get more into the video hardware here. I'll pull it out. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. Uh, and then I'll go over, that's going to be a fun process because, uh, firstly, you know, there's a monitor that goes with it that I do not have. Um, they're pretty hard to get and they're crazy heavy and they've probably mostly been scrapped at this point. Um, but I see online that, you know, any decent multi-sync monitor should be able to do that. So, should see if I can try and get that guy to work because it's just RGB signals coming out of the thing and then I think it's sync on green. Um, so hopefully that guy can do the job and I just have to make a connector. There's like a 20 pin header in there that has the video signals. And then on top of that, I shoved this thing in and that's why it's in already because I was like, oh, maybe it'll boot up and VMS when it starts up, I have the deck windows stuff installed. So it tells you when it starts up. Usually every time I start it up, it has a specific line in there that says no graphics hardware detected, not installing or not, you know, configuring and starting up any uh, graphics drivers, which makes sense. So I thought, ooh, that's just a fun first thing when this comes to the mail, I'll slot it in and I will, you know, just see if that message disappears. And it does not. And I am fairly certain, you know, maybe it just doesn't work in this configuration. I don't know. Could be a million things. I'm figuring out VAC stuff as I go. But uh, it appears, thank you, God, BitSavers and Deck, too, for doing very in-depth uh, hardware documentation, because there are a couple, I'll, I'll get some footage of that, but uh, there's three status indicator LEDs, and the status it's giving me right now is keyboard error. 
So I'm assuming it's not coming up. I believe when it does come up, it will probably uh, take over with whatever boot ROM it has in there. I don't know how that whole system works, but it has console emulation. So my guess is when the thing comes up with a keyboard installed, it will uh, you know, put the console on the video hardware instead of uh, out of the normal port, or maybe both. But I think that's why basically like the card isn't starting up and you know, deck or uh, VMS isn't detecting it as available because the keyboard's not plugged in. Realized it wants one of these keyboards. I was like, oh, I'm gonna have to make a whole adapter and that'll be a fun project, but uh, no, turns out um, it's just this. It literally comes with a with an LK201 um, in its normal configuration. Now, of course, again, don't have don't have the, the cable for it. I don't have the bulkhead connector. I don't have the cable that goes to that little 20 pin guy. So there's still some that needs to be done. So I desoldered this, uh, which are just um, RJ6s, you know, regular phone line, um, from this, which I feel kind of bad about. Like, I feel like, you know, nobody's gonna use modem cards in the future, but I mean, still, it feels kind of bad to just be parting it out. I think it works. But I didn't have much else sitting around and I wanted to get going on this. Um, but, you know, it has four wires and this will plug just fine into it. Um, I don't have two hands, like, so well. <laughs> I'm gonna edit this out. There's some wiggle room. It could use a, a shim or something. Let's see if I can get in there. So you can see there's lots of wiggle room there on the side, but uh, the pins line up. I have connection. I tested it. So this is going to go in a, you know, PCB somehow. Those stagger connections make it hard to do. I'll probably just have to bend them into compliance or maybe like glue it, uh, you know, dead bug style onto the board and then just run wires up to it. I don't know yet. Um, and then send that to the 20 pin header. And that'll be the first step is I'll see if that works. And, you know, VMS even detects the board after that. Um, or if I also need to get the mouse involved, which the mouse is going to be a little bit more difficult uh, because uh, I, you know, this thing doesn't have a mouse. Again, apparently it's the same thing. There are terminals from later on that come with mice. I'm not super familiar with that, but it's the same mouse there. And some guy on hackaday.io, I think that's the name of the, the page where they have the project hosting. Um, there is a guy who has, uh, I think it's kind of just like an Arduino sketch and a little hardware for making that happen because you can just, it's all RS-232 uh, going over those cables to connect up the keyboard and the mouse. So, you know, if you have a UART, you can um, pretty easily emulate those devices. So I'm gonna steal his code and try and put it on uh, my own, you know, teensies and then get that working. That sounds like the most pain in the butt part of everything. Everything else is just building adapter cables for the video and for the um, LK201. Um, if it needs the mouse too to get started up, then um, that's gonna take the most work, but it shouldn't be too bad. Anyway, uh, I don't know if this video is just gonna end up being a ramble about that card? Maybe. Maybe this will be like a preface um, quickie video. Like I was saying, I'd make some talking to camera ones, and this is probably plenty long enough. But that's the fun stuff I've got going on, so uh, that may be interleaved with the video card project. Um, that's what I got going on. <laughs> All right. Uh, if this ends up being a one-off, then I'm going to say just, you know, thanks for tuning in, and uh, you know, stay tuned. We'll see where I get with the video card project and we will see where I get with, well, this other video card project, um, making one work and making one. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Thanks for spending some time with me and I will see you later. Do, 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 do. It's a computer thing, it's in my room. Do, 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 do. Why am I doing this? Well, I don't know. Do, 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 making a song that really sucks. Do, 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 I made a computer thing that also sucks.